Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Erica. Today we're going to be unboxing the October Sew Sampler Box. So if you're new to Sew Sampler Boxes, they are monthly sewing and quilting subscription boxes. They include fabric, patterns, and notions, and they are $24.95 a month. I'll put a link on where you can get them below. Sometimes they're full, so just join their wait list. I think they might actually have some openings right now, but you'll want to check their website for more details on that. And then before we get into this video, I just wanted to remind you that if you like these videos, make sure to thumbs up and subscribe. That really helps me out. You can also hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any upcoming fun. All right, let's dive right in and see what's inside this month's box. So the theme for this month's box is everything is coming up roses and on the back is a 30% off a Jolly Ball Bar book volume two. So there's a promo code to get 30% off that book on the back of here. So when you get these, make sure you look on the back. They always have coupons on here so you don't wanna throw this away. And then of course I have my insert in here that tells me everything that's in my box, how to use it, information about it and its retail value. So I'll be using this as we go through the video. Now each month they also do a block of the month sew along. Once you're done getting 12 months worth of blocks, they will send out a finishing instructions on how you can put all those blocks together. So here's block number seven. These were designed by Fig Tree. This is the Bliss Quilt Along. And this block is really cute. It looks like it has kind of one of those crisscrossy blocks with some pinwheels up in the corner. Um, hopefully my camera's picking up. They're really light, so it's kind of hard to see. You can get these patterns um, once the boxes are released on the Fat Quarter Shop website for $4.95. And I collect all of the patterns for these boxes once I get all 12 months worth of patterns together, I bundle them up and give them away to one of you. All right, the first thing in my box here are these Soak Mini Samples, and there are three different scents in here, and it says Soak in the Good Vibes of the Mini Soak Sampler Pack. These eco-friendly formulation of laundry soap is easy on your most precious laundry, for example, all of your quilts. Made with plant-derived and renewable ingredients, it's biodegradable, phosphor phosphate-free, dye-free, and sulfate-free. Use it like traditional laundry detergent following instructions on your washing machine or wash by hand in a basin or tub. This sampler pack comes with yuzu, wild mint, and scentless packs to try and enjoy. And you know what's interesting is that I've used the Soak soap on my knit products for a long time. I have like a pineapple scented one. I never actually thought about using it on my quilts. So this is interesting. I might actually give it a try. Right now, if you're curious, I do have a video on how I wash my quilts, so I will link it somewhere around here. Um, and I honestly just throw them in the washing machine with some color catchers to make sure the, uh, the colors don't bleed and then just wash them with my regular detergent. So I don't know, maybe this would be a better option. So I'll probably give these a try. And I think I forgot to say it, but these retail for $4.24. The next thing in our box is this Lime Prim Needle Twister. This values at $9.98. And it says the Prim Needle Twister from Prim is everything it's twisted up to be. With a magnetic base, the Prim Needle Twister safely and securely stores all of your needles. Twist down to hide them away and snap the protective cap on, or twist up to fan the needles out for easy selection. Toss this into your sewing bag and you needle, not worry. So let's see how this works. You just pull it apart, kind of like a chapstick, and then this actually twists up and, <laughs> there's paper in there. This just twists up and then your needles go in there and it's just a magnet and so they actually kind of pop out like a, I don't know, let's try it. These might, these aren't really the right kind, but here's kind of what happens. You twist them up and then you can grab one, twist the rest back down, put your cap on and you're good to go. And I think it's meant more for sewing needles, not the kind of pins that I just stuck in there, but that's just what I had handy. But you can kind of see there's a magnet on the bottom there. And so the little pin heads just stick to that magnet. magnet. Um, I mean, I don't know, it's okay. I'm not, it's not like my favorite notion ever, but it does seem kind of handy. All right, the next thing we have is interesting, and I actually have one of these for giveaway for my holiday gift guide, so it's cool to see it in the box. This is Riley Blake Designs Quilty Tools Binding Holder. It values at $10.74, and it says this adorable notion by Riley Blake Designs will keep you happy by keeping your bindi binding tightly wound. It's made of clear acrylic and features a slot for your binding to go through. Simply wind the rest of your binding around the center cutout, and it will be totally under wraps. The charming churn dash design is a cute finish touch just as your binding is to your quilt. I'm not going to open it because I am going to be giving this away, but you basically slide your binding through this center area and then wrap it 
and then wrap it around this center section so your binding runs across right here. And then you just wrap it around and around and around and then it keeps your binding all ready to go until you're ready to use it. I personally um, don't pre-make binding. I mean, I'll pre-make it for a quilt that I'm actively working on and then as soon as that quilt's done, my binding's ready to go so I'm encouraged to like finish it. So I just use it right away. But I think this is really cool if you um, like to pre-make your bindings, store them, anything like that. It's kind of a fun idea. The pattern for this month is called Two of a Kind and it, it is by Lisa Alexander and Susan Aki for Martingale, valued at $9.98. We love it when these two are quilting together. Lisa Alexander and Susan Aki have teamed up for a one-of-a-kind book about scrappy quilting called Two of a Kind. This bonus pattern includes a fabulous pattern from each of them for twice the fun. Don't be afraid to pair it up with the Country Rose Junior Jelly Roll in this month's box for an extra delightful duo. So there are two patterns in there. You've got this fun table runner and then this cute wall hanging. All right, so there's cutting tips, there's graphic illustrations. Here's kind of a better view of that table runner. And then here's sort of a full view of that wall hanging. The finished pickled table runner finishes at 18 by 50 and a half, and the dandy stars wall hanging finishes at 32 by 39 and a half. And if you haven't seen it, they did just put out a book called Two of a Kind Quilts. It's really fun. It has a lot of designs in it. They're meant to be used with all of your scraps, so they're great stash busters, and they're just a lot of fun. And both of these ladies are some of my favorite designers out there. And then lastly, we have our fabric for this month. This is a junior jelly roll called Country Rose, and it values at $21.98. And it says, the Country Rose collection by Lella Boutique has us feeling two ways, a little bit country and a little bit ready to roll. This 20 piece junior jelly roll is a delightful sample to mix the artful floral script and classic prints like gingham prints and dots. In shades of pinks, greens, yellows, and blues, it will have you blooming with inspiration. And here is our favorite view. So you can see all of those fun colors. And I love Lella Boutique. Her prints are always so pretty. Now this is a junior jelly roll, so it's half the size of a regular jelly roll. Regular jelly rolls usually have 42-ish prints in them, depending on the line. This one, it sounds like, has 20, so you get about half. Um, and so it's a nice sampling of the fabrics. And if you don't know what a jelly roll is, they're two and a half by width of fabric strips. And it's one print from, well, this is a half, but if you get a full jelly roll, it's one print from each of the prints in that line. So it's a really great way to sample um, a fabric line if you're interested. And of course, I have a couple jelly roll patterns here free on YouTube, so you might wanna check those out as well. All right, so that is everything that came in this month's box. I did add it all up. The value for this month's box is $61.90, so that's a pretty good value. The boxes, again, are $24.95 plus shipping. Now, I will be giving away this month's box to one of you, so in order to enter to win, leave me a comment below letting me know which one of my videos here on YouTube is your favorite. If you're a new viewer, you might wanna head over to my channel. You can just click my little face icon underneath this video, and it will take you to my main channel. You can just scroll through the videos and see which ones you like. Number two, make sure you are subscribed to this channel. I like to do giveaways for my subscribers. And number three, make sure that you are US resident only. I'm really sorry, Shipping International is sort of crazy right now. And then one last thing, if you do win, I will reply here to your comment on YouTube asking you to email me at erica at confessionsofahomeschooler.com. If you think you won, please email me there. Do not DM anyone on Telegram. Unfortunately, we have some scammers out there who are trying to take advantage of my viewers and that makes me really sad. Um, so please make sure to email me directly if you think you might have won and I will reply. Also, they're asking you to pay for shipping. I will never ask you to pay for anything, so do not give anyone any money or information. Just email me directly if you think you won. I will also update the description below the video and put your name down there, and it will say winner, and then it will say the name, your username for here on YouTube, and so you'll know also there that you won. So just email me if you think you may have won. I will make sure to clarify whether or not you won and get your price sent out too, but please don't send any money to anyone. I will never ask you for any money, so don't uh, fall prey to those scammers. I'm sorry they're here. I apologize. I'm doing my best to filter out their comments and report their accounts as they pop up. So that's going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Don't forget to enter to win the box that I just showed, and I will see you next time. What month is this? October. <laughs> okay. We're back on track, guys. Why is my camera struggling? Now this is a juju, eh. <laughs> So if you're new to those sampler boxes, they are monthly sewing and quilting subscription boxes. They are, yeah. These eco, eh. These eco, <laughs> oh my gosh, I need my glasses. And it says the prim niddle, prim, <laughs> around this, <laughs> sorry. 
Okay. Oh, jelly roll. Pattern assembly cutting tips. Interesting. The value ooh, <laughs> is six. Focus. 